Hello everyone, here are the latest market news on October the 7th, 2020. Asian stocks rally after Trump puts off aid talks. Asian stocks were broadly higher on Wednesday morning, recovering after U.S. President Donald Trump decided to end the administration's stimulus talks, saying he would postpone them until after elections. His decision came as a surprise to the market as U.S. indices plummeted on the news. The U.S. plunge spread to Asian markets at the open, with most major indices declining from the previous close. The Australian ASX 200 index rose 0.87 percent. This happened as a result of the publication of the state budget the day before. The Japanese Nikkei index fell 0.33 percent. The Hong Kong Hansen index rose 0.47 percent, while the South Korean Kospi rose 0.09 percent. Investors are are expecting speeches today by ECB and Fed governors Christine Lagarde and Jerome Powell. Both institutions will release the minutes of their September meetings. European shares up as profits offset U.S. concerns. European stocks rallied on Wednesday as upbeat earnings reports from Britain's Tesco in Germany's Dialect Semiconductor helped offset uncertainty over a new U.S. stimulus package. The pan-European stock 600 index rose 0.2 percent. Dialect Semiconductor jumped 5.4 percent to the stock 600 top after better-than-expected third-quarter revenue guidance. Britain's largest supermarket chain Tesco added 3.6 percent as it reported a jump in sales and expects retail operating profit for the year year to be at least 2019 through 2020 levels. Swedish audiobook streaming group Storytel gained 3.2 percent after surpassing its forecast for third quarter subscribers and streaming revenue. DAX futures in Germany are trading 0.9 percent higher, CAC 40 futures in France are down 0.2 percent, and FTSE 100 futures in the UK are unchanged. Germany's latest industrial production report puts this in perspective a 0.2 percent drop in August compared with an expected 1.5 percent rise. Apple to hold event next week announced new items. Apple Inc. said on that it would host a special event on October the 13th that most analysts believe will be used to unveil new iPhones with 5G capabilities. Company hinted at new, faster networking capabilities in an invitation to the event, which read Hello Speed. In recent years, Apple announced new iPhones in mid-September and will begin shipping to customers by the end of the month. However, Apple executives warned investors this year that the new iPhones are unlikely to ship until October. Apple shares are up sharply this year despite the coronavirus wreaking havoc on economies around the world thanks in a large part to a boom in work-from-home sales. Despite the fact that Apple shares fell from a record high on September the 2nd, they are still valued at about $2 trillion in the stock market. Australia's tax reform will be notable in December. Australia's Treasurer Josh Frydenberg announced on Tuesday $17.8 billion in personal tax cuts and $5.2 billion Australian dollars in new programs to boost employment as part of a plan to help the coronavirus-ravaged economy by creating 1 million new jobs over the next four years. Most of the tax breaks will be reduced from July the 1st. Frydenberg announced on Wednesday that the tax cuts that make up the country's annual budget will take effect until December. The law is due to pass this week, but incentives won't be visible on the income of Australians until December. The economy of Australia shrank 7% in three months and in June the highest since the start of records in 1959. And the unemployment rate hit a 22-year high of 7.5% in July as business and borders closed to fight the coronavirus.